JW with Nuisance Wildlife Control and we're at a customer's place today that um, they saw a black snake in their garage and we're down here to see if we can find it and remove it put it in my uh, my new snake bucket here and we're going to get started find the shed skin so if it's still in there it shouldn't be too hard to find the size of this skin Spaces, so you need to look in like these lawn chair holders in back. Okay, we've done a thorough search, um, and there's not a whole lot of stuff in here, so we've done a thorough search and can't find the snake, so I'm going to look in the corners and see if there's uh, any holes going back into the dwelling, and plus two, we'll drop the garage door and see if there are any gaps underneath the bottom that the snake could have gone out. Okay folks, this is JW with Nuisance Wildlife Control. Uh, I'm back at the house now and I want to do a little recap with you on the snake job that I just finished up here. Uh, the customer said that they'd seen uh, about a three foot black snake and I can verify that by the um, shed skin that I found in the garage fresh you can tell if it's fresh or if it's brittle um, it's about three feet long we did an extensive exhaustive search uh, of the whole garage which was about probably a 24 by 24 garage not a lot of stuff around the sides but we looked in all the boxes and in the toy toy boxes uh, behind tables and everything and we did a, a, an exhaustive search with uh, turning up no snakes. Uh, but as we closed the garage door, we could see on the bottom corners where there was uh, a half inch or a little bigger than that crack where the snake could exit. And that's what we figure it did uh, exit it out. So I went ahead and did uh, repairs on those openings there to uh, keep the snake from coming back yet. So that's where we are now and uh, another satisfied, happy customer. <laughs> 